In this video, I'm going to talk about lumbar disc herniations and the resultant sciatica that occurs because of the disc herniation. If you need to look at some previous videos that I've done, I do explanations of the normal anatomy and what happens with the disc bulge. But when we think about sciatica, and sciatica is a term used when we have pressure on a nerve causing numbness, tingling, burning, or weakness into the lower leg. And so the way that I think about it is just like at the house, you have an electrical box. You have wires running from the electrical box. In my house, that's in the garage. On my wall, I have a dimmer switch or even just a straight light switch. And then eventually, I get electricity to the light. If that conduction is totally open, the light turns on. If I have pressure somewhere or I reduce the amount of pressure on the electricity or reduce the amount of conduction, that light will, will dim or it will turn totally off. The same thing happens in our body, but instead of it being the electrical box, it's our brain, spinal cord, And then usually it exits from the vertebrae and down into the arm or the leg or some other part of the body. If anywhere along that line gets interrupted, whether fully, like I turn the dimmer switch all the way off, like that, that would cause total lack of conduction, like in a paraplegic or a quadriplegic scenario. A lot of times, right where it exits out of the vertebrae is acting more as a dimmer. And if I turn down the amount of ability for the nerve to conduct, I get numbness, tingling, burning, those types of symptoms into the extremity. And that is a term that we call sciatica.